So what's up? Uh, today's some day in October. It's like seven o'clock in at night. It's kind of late on this one because. Uh, well, let me start from the beginning. Last night I was chatting up some girls, right, and then it was like four o'clock in the morning. I thought it'd be a good idea to go to sleep, so I throw in a DVD. What DVD, you ask? Jackie Chan's new Police Story. And so I'm watching that movie, and I'm it's it's so. It's so action-packed, I can't take my eyes off of it. At the end of the movie, it was so badass that I couldn't get to sleep. I rolled and rolled and rolled around all night on that futon. As far as futons go, that one is a piece of shit. It's seriously lumpy. And it's, you know, I'm not complaining. I got it for free. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to get to sleep on. You got to find the perfect groove. You got to, like, try every single possible position until you finally get that perfect position where you can, you know, there's no pressure points on your head or on your jaw or on your waist or on your hip or on your arm or on your wrist, where it's golden. Unfortunately, I didn't find that. That perfect position was like my Moby Dick. I was looking for it, I was hunting it, I had the spear ready, it just never came, right? I eventually ended up sleeping all weird on my arm, and I had this crazy dream where I'm sitting in this bed, but it's it's folded out. It will never fold out in this room because of this bad boy, but it's folded out, right? For some reason in my dream, an albino scorpion had the ability to spin webs. I don't know why, it just did. So this albino scorpion is spinning a web down, and I wake up and I see it, and I go, oh shit. And so I try to squish it in the air. For some reason, I thought I could squish a scorpion really quick in the air with my bare hands. But it didn't work, and it landed inside my blanket somehow. And I was all, oh, Jesus Christ, it was all crawling on me. So I was all, fuck it, I'm just going to grab it and throw it out of my bed real quick. And I grabbed it, and it stung me right there. And I just went, Jesus. So it already stung me, right? So then I just grabbed the stinger and ripped it out and then I crushed the scorpion and threw it in the garbage can but at this point my hand was hurting so bad and it was swelling up really big and I was all fuck so I rolled out of bed and I ran upstairs and again for some reason it was like 11 o'clock at night and my parents are sitting in the living room watching TV and I bust in the door and I'm all do we have any ice I mean of course we have ice but in the dream I, we didn't have any ice so I'm looking around and so I eventually grab a soda from the refrigerator and I'm holding on to it and uh, it's just, it's cooling off my sore right and my mom's all if you don't find any ice put that soda back that's for dinner do you not see this and for some reason I had still had like the the end part of the stinger in my hand I pulled it out and I threw it away and I put the soda down and I was all fine I'll just die and I went back downstairs and fell asleep and I woke up and I slept on my hand weird, so it was numb and like it had needles in it. And I just looked at it and I went, oh, Jesus Christ, I really get stung by an albino web-spinning scorpion? And then I thought about that and I go, of course I didn't. And then I went back to sleep. Well, about 1 o'clock in the, in the afternoon, my brother rolls up and he's banging on the door and he comes down. He's like, okay, we're, we're going. And I'm sitting there and I'm laying in my bed sleeping. He's like, are you still sleeping? It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I said, shut the hell up. And he pulls me out of bed and we go, first we go like pumpkin shopping. And finally we come home and we had this idea in our mind that we are going to create an army of zombies outside the front of the house. So we're going to have like zombies up against the window and we're going to get like cardboard and board up the windows and make it look badass. So we started to get work on it. And the first zombie we made, it was, it was horrible. I mean, it looks cool now, but it was just, it's so ghetto. It's just like pants with the bottoms taped shut and that we just stuffed in a bunch of newspaper half torso with guts hanging out and uh, the leg it, it looks badass I'll throw up some pictures when I get some you know and then I realized Jesus Christ at 7 o'clock at night I better go home and make a video so that's what I'm doing and that's all I did today oh yeah and by request this is my weird ring finger Whoa -oh.